check this out. Look at this, boys and girls. Wonder what's inside this box? Yeah, me too. Let's do a quick uh, unboxing and let's get it done. All right, so we have a buddy of ours with an FK8 that purchased this beautiful crane neck spoiler from uh, Spoon. Genuine. He waited a, quite a long time for this and uh, it's pretty sick, you guys. So the reason why it's uh, here today, because this is actually just gel coated, it's not actually clear coated. And uh, there is some little bit, a little bit of imperfection. You can hear, see it here. It's just kind of hazy. So we're gonna put some blue more paint protection film and we're gonna cover all that up and it's gonna look just fantastic. Beautiful. Very light too, like super, super light. You wouldn't expect uh, anything less than that, right? So unfortunately, it would have been a, such an easy job if we were able to remove these, but the, these are riveted in, as Johnny has pointed out. So it's gonna be a little bit more of a difficult job. And of course, this has to come off, because this is the top again. But uh, yeah, hopefully it will go pretty smooth. Since we can't remove this, we're gonna do it in one sheet, but we're gonna split it here so that we can put the film over top. We're gonna to do the seam line over here because this is the front of the spoiler. So if you put it on the back here, from the back, you can actually see a seam line so it won't look as nice. So this is the plan. We're gonna wrap it and put the seam line right underneath here. That is the plan. I think that's gonna look the best. shiny now it's never gonna like peel uh, crack or delaminate or you know even like sun bleach or just get all dull from the uh, the UV of the Sun it was actually a lot harder than I thought like, I thought it was gonna be a little easier than this but a little harder than anticipated but yeah now I'm gonna just let it cure and then I'm gonna go over everything make sure all the bubbles are popped and uh, everything's all laid down. All right guys, so I'm pretty much done my part. Uh, it's fully wrapped and it's fully protected now. It looks pretty, uh, it turned out amazing. And it just, with the Lumar Valor, it's just pretty slippery. And uh, yeah, I like the way it turned out. So now I'm just waiting for Denver to show up and then I'm just gonna help him install it on his uh, FK8. And uh, it looks, I think it's gonna look pretty sick. So I just wanna show you guys what a gel finish looks like. And then one with actually PPF on it. So you can kind of see it right here. It has a kind of like a matte kind of hazy finish to it and a lot of scratches. And then look at this. And that's with Lumar Valor. Very, very nice and shiny. And this will actually stay like this for a very long time. 
and I, I'd probably want to push this instead of actually clear coat because clear coat will actually scratch and everything, but this stuff won't. All right, guys, so we're, uh, so we're gonna have to start taking all this apart so that we can get access to the hardware up down here. So, done this several times. You guys, four 10 mil, two here, two there. Time, so it's pretty much easier because usually we have to deal with these plugs they're kind of a bitch to take off without damaging them but they're already off so all right there you go did you read the instructions Denver Six with the lock washers for the base, these ones. You want to put it up and line up for me? Sure. Or put the mold first. Yeah, I'll put it in there. Let's see. I think it's too short. See? You have to put on your head like yeah. so it's these two here. What it's like. You might have to remove this plastic thing. You gotta remove that plastic thing. The bolts thing. here? Or when it's like... oh, is that where the bolts go? Yeah, that's about, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe this one. But uh, this is goes to the... Well, unless you're the using the, uh, the factory one. Yeah, you don't have to use the factory ones. All right, guys, so we're just going to pause the video for one second just to clarify. So the hardware that was supplied to mount the base plate to the actual hatch itself, for some reason, did not fit. So I gave Envision a call to see what's going on. And apparently we are supposed to retain or use the OEM hardware that for the original spoiler. But unfortunately Denver had a different, uh, or he already had a, like an aftermarket spoiler on there already. So he didn't have that hardware on him. That's the reason why we're like figuring out why the hell is not fitting. Long story short, we, had, we figured it out. We had the right size. We had to send a multiple to a hardware store to get the actual right bolt and nut. So it all worked out in the end. And uh, at least now you guys know what the actual size you need if you don't have the OEM hardware. So let's continue with the video, guys. We had to send Denver out to get one of these suckers. Long enough now to go all the way through to reach the base plate. Here, I'll hold it for you. You can see how much it sticks out. There you go. So that solves the problem. Because even if you, if you use the ones that they supplied us, which is, let's say, uh, where are the other ones? These ones, to use into here to go through the cylinder. But Victor noticed or pointed out that the shoulder is not big enough. So you put it on and you drive on the highway, the, the wings are gonna fall off. So the only thing we're thinking it's uh, the hardware that they gave us is for JDM and this is USDM. And that's the reason why there's a variation. And a lot of people are not talking about it online. So I've only found one video and they literally skipped right through it. So we're gonna share this with you guys. So it should be pretty easy to install now. Hey Victor, what size did you, uh, what, what size? So that everybody. Six by 60. What is, M6, what is it, Denver? M6 by 60. There you go. And then we also need the washer and a lock washer so that it doesn't back out once you get it in there. Another one. 
We'll leave it loose for now and we'll Oh yeah, because yeah, we have to um, align it. Yes. Oh, very nice. We should have used titanium. Hardware? Yeah, I agree. Chasing jades. Yeah, chasing jades, right? Yeah, I, get, I agree. Chasing jades. If you're listening, sponsor. Titanium will take at least another, <laughs> another tenth off of it. Would you want burnt titanium or do you want raw? Burnt. Burnt, eh? Burnt. Yeah. How long? I would go, I'd do gold. Good for a tenth and, <laughs> good for a tenth and a quarter mile. Weight savings, right? Yeah. How many screws are there? We're going to put the allen keys out so it looks killer. Look at that, eh? Ooh. Out of the way, Denver. Out of the way. The masterpiece. There you go, bro. Hey, John, you want to hold that or? And uh, what angle do you want? Do you want aggressive or you want? Aggressive for sure. I think we should do the back one, Victor, first. Because that one is the one that you can adjust. Oh, okay. Because the one in the rear is not, uh, it's fixed, right? Okay, so let's put it back up again. You know, these should actually be nylon. Yeah. And the reason why you make nylon, because they don't come out. And they don't damage as bad. Oh these no, because the nylon, they lock. Okay, so over here? I would go like, yeah, right to the bottom. Yeah, bro. Which one? The outside one? Yeah, okay. Right there. Right there, yeah. How's that look? How's that look? That's good. Yeah? Like that? No uh, worry. You can go a little bit higher. A little higher? Second hole. Well, we can bolt that one in first and then we can adjust it after. Yeah, we'll put this one in. Oops. Okay. It's good there. Okay, now we'll just take this one out. Another one? You can put it on the third hole. The so top one? Yeah, yeah, the top one. Top one? So it goes all through the hose. Right? Like that? Yeah. Oh, so you want to cover the hose? Okay. Okay, give it the. Okay. There we go. Right. So that way this is all nice and. So this is kind of how you want to do it, right? Yeah. Do you think they have a, a lock? Like a lock, like a locking lug nuts so that they don't steal your uh, spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> Just roll it. Just park it indoors. <laughs> park it inside. I don't think it would matter, depending what neighborhood it is, it'll just rip it off. <laughs> okay, that's that.
guys get yourself an aftermarket uh, spoiler, just make sure it has some kind of like clear coat on it or at least some form of protection so it'll, it'll last quite a long time. Uh, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys for the next week. See ya.